Hey cousins, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Chrissy Pips. Today is not going to be our normal video. I am not about to record within the Amazon box jungle in my living room. I just received some new um, audio video stuff, new computer and stuff like that. So I'm in the process of setting everything up. But I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get out some content. So today, TradingView has an update that I want to go over with you because if you trade and you do your analysis on multiple time frames, this might help you out, okay? Now, as always, if you enjoy the content in this video, go ahead and give it a like and a thumbs up so that you don't miss out on what's next. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. Hey, share the information on social media if you think others can benefit from the information. And always, always, always comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this helped you because, listen, my goal is to help you just as much as I'm helping myself. Okay? As always, though, if you're here, you're interested, so let's get into it. Okay, and this is not the new mic, by the way. I just, I can't find my other one. So, I'm making do. But... Let's start with the daily time frame on Bay. Y'all know on this channel, ACAD is Bay, right? So we only had had no questions about that. Now, let's start here. It looks like Price made a higher high. So we're gonna go back to a previous high. Let's see. And have y'all been using the zoom tool? If y'all haven't been using this, the zoom tool, this little tool over here on the side, shame on you, okay? This little thing right here, this zoom in tool, I love this thing. Because I have a thing about accuracy as far as, like, this tool that I'm using is called Fibonacci. I have a thing about my fib levels and, like, where my fib ends and starts being, like, very accurate. Um, so yeah, use the zoom tool. And you know, you can zoom in and out if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel by holding control on your keyboard and then scrolling in and out. That way you can like get a better view. Let's see. Oh, also too, if you unclick the auto button right here, it lets you like really freely move around your chart. So if you need to like run back and forth without scrolling, you can. But, okay, so let's drop the fib there. For all intensive purposes, I am going to, we're gonna say use our red. We box up supply and demand on, on this channel, okay? So we gonna box up our little zone here. And so far, we have a couple things put on the chart, right? Uh, let's box up this little area here, too. And from high to low, how low can we go? And this is going to be a red box with a red frame, okay? So let's see. Let's move this over a little bit. And we'll go back to our zoom tool. Put this just on the outside over there. Just on the outside over here. And you know what? One second, y'all. I'm going to get rid of all of the little weird lines in the background. See? That's so much better. Okay. So we have this box up. We are going to do the one thing that I always forget to do. Is lock our tools in place. Okay, lock them. Okay. Now, this is our daily time frame. Now, let's say we want to go down to the four hour time frame. But we don't want to mix up all of the information. I like to go from the daily time frame to the four hour time frame. But I try to keep a very um, subjective view on things. Right? Subjective viewpoint. So there's a little button over here called new object tree so click that and then see these little folders here 
create a group of drawings. You want to do that. And we're going to take everything from our daily time frame and we're going to drop it right in this box. We're going to move this box to the bottom. We are going to right click it and click rename. We're going to rename it day. Okay. Now that makes it so we can lock all of the tools and you can make them visible or invisible all at one time. So, so it just makes it easy to kind of keep track of things. Everything is inside of here. And I have mine color coded, like my daily time frame, everything is red. Four hour time frame, everything is yellow or at least framed in yellow. Um, my 30 minute time frame is green. So yeah. But this makes it a little bit easy. It makes it a little easier for you. Um, to kind of, like I said, do your analysis and not be biased. Okay? So we'll start here. And where's my little trend line guy? And this is our highest point. This is the origin of our highest point. If you were not part of the, if you didn't see the um, trend line video, go watch the trend line video. You'll know the low high, low high dance, the trend line dance. You know, trend lines are important, especially with like our strategy for my team. Very important. So we have our trend line here. All right. This is definitely my way of cheating too. Like, I'll open up the charts just to make the candles look a little bit better. So I can actually see the movement. It just reduces some of the noise on the chart. Because then you can actually see the swing. Makes it nice and, like, visible, you know? Now, Bay has been acting up and consolidating since, like, April. But it's okay. We got a nice little break here. So let's do see this was on our four hour so rename for H lock it and we're gonna drop ourselves a nice little 30 minute trend line do here I seen this is morning. I just I wake up and I cook breakfast because I'm like, if I can't think, it's because I haven't eaten. So I'm gonna stretch this little zone out a little here, and I would really like to put a nice little buy box here. 30 minutes so we're looking for it to touch right here since we are in a trending market we'll trade off 50 percent and just in case we will also it's gonna mess with my um got an alert right here there we go Sometimes you have to like drop it and drag it. Other than that, it messes with your like your alerts won't let you put certain stuff down. They act like they're in the way. But we'll put that there. And what I'll do is I actually move this alert to right here. Yeah, okay. And then put my line back. So now I have all of this stuff that was just put in. So you click it again. We're going to rename this one to 30 minutes. And there you go. All you do is pick them up and drop them. You know if they're in there because the blue line will be further to the left if it's outside of the folder. And then a little further to the center if they're inside of the folder. You just drop them inside here. And if you want to, go back to the four hour hit the reset button and you can make everything 
visible and invisible. That must be the same thing for our daily. Yeah, we're in a really good zone too. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the object tree folders. Um, these are, they, they come in handy. They're very convenient, especially if you forget to lock something on another time frame. You just lock the whole folder and it locks everything on, that's on the inside. I really like this feature. It was like really cool. I got like an email update um, a while back. But this is nice. So if you trade on multiple, or if you do your analysis on multiple time frames, or even if you trade on multiple time frames and you don't want to have to like have multiple charts with all of the information in different charts for different time frames, this makes it easier for you to put everything there, but you can make it visible or invisible as you need it. Because I know sometimes I'll even go down to the 15 minute and on the 15 minute, if I have a, or my lines for supply and demand, my boxes for my buy and sell zone from every single time frame, it'll get very confusing. So I can get rid of all of the extra noise and just look at what I need to look at, you know? So it's very helpful. But yeah, today is a short video. I'm excited. I'm about to go rip through all of these boxes, start setting up the computer. I have new um, editing software. My computer is a lot faster than what it was. It's a better graphics card in it. Um, and I still have, I still have my, um, my Bessie. I like Bessie. I think I'm going to strip everything off of the other computer and, um, and just use it for gaming only because why not? But yeah, there's that. Um, but that is really all I wanted to show you guys today. Hey, in the comments below, okay, go ahead and let me know if there's something specific that you would like for me to cover. Don't be afraid to make it difficult. I like tackling and covering topics that I'm not familiar with because it just forces me to learn something new, okay? But let's do one more thing before we get off. Okay, y'all know it's Wednesday. Y'all know what we do on Wednesday, family. Let's go ahead and shout out the new subscribers to the channel. So, shout out to A. Wallace, Linda Bell, FMHH15. Can you let me know what that means, too? Um, Joel Phillips, Naisha Favors, Sun Deja, and Vesty Fletcher. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you guys, and welcome to the family. Y'all my cousins now. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Listen, as always, if you enjoy the content of my video, go ahead and give it a like, a thumbs up. Hey, go ahead and share it on social media. If you think others can benefit from this information, comment below. Let me know if this helped you out, um, if there's a specific topic that you would like for me to cover. And as always, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on what's next. But as always, I want you guys to have an awesome and productive day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.